Hi! Welcome back to my channel, and if this is your first time here, I'm so glad you're here. And my favorites, well, they've already come back on purpose. Well, I was watching Peru LaRue, oh my goodness, what a precious name, um, and she did a nursing tag. Well, I'm a nurse, so I thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect, I'm gonna do that tag. So here I am tagging away. Um, I don't know if there's any other nurses that are subscribed to my channel, but if so, um, I would definitely like to um, tag each one of you. But even if you're not a nurse and you're just a content uh, creator, some of these questions you definitely would have an opinion on. Um, if you've had any dealings with the medical field at all, I would definitely like to hear um, how you feel because, well, I, I think we should talk more about um, medicine. I think that's the only way we're going to make improvements to it. So, all right, here we go. First question, advice for nursing students. Oh my goodness, I was a student long, long ago. All right, the I guess the number one thing is you got this. You can do it. You just have to put one foot in front of the other until you cross the line and eventually you get there. And it's hard and you're going to cry and you're going to want to pull your hair out and uh, caffeine is going to be your best friend, you know. But one of the biggest things that helped me was joining um, a study group and uh, bouncing these ideas off because some of these come concepts are quite complex and um, yeah you need you need to hear it sometimes uh, presented two or three different ways before they start really um, becoming concrete and making sense because you've never had to think in these terms before so don't beat yourself up for it just keep putting one foot in front of the other you can do it favorite nursing shoes there is a shoe called Hoka one Ha! Oh, that has saved my feet. Um, I don't have them with me at the moment. They're at my house and I'm not home. But those, oh, those are the best shoes for my my feet. We all have different foot issues. and um, But yeah, those are awesome. Love them. Um, if Florence Nightingale um, time traveled to today, what do you think she would say? Oh my goodness, I think she would be amazed at a few things. One, that she made such an impression on all of us. She is one of the pioneers of nursing. Um, one of her thing was just being clean. And imagine that, cleanliness, cutting down on infection. How cool is that? So, um, and that how far, far our standards have come for keeping things clean, you know? So I, I think she'd be quite impressed with um, her contribution and um, how we've taken her words to heart and all of the new things that have come about. So next question, how many hours can you go between restroom breaks? Well, how many hours do I have to go between restroom breaks? <laughs> Oh my gosh. You know, you get busy at work and you're not eating or drinking, so then nothing needs to come out. So, uh, yeah. But if I drink at work, then, then I have to go to the bathroom. So, I know that sounds terrible, but I try not to drink a bunch of fluids at work because, well, then they need to come out. So, uh, favorite nursing department. Oh, so... I have seen things come full circle. I started with a mother baby, and that was so cool to see these newborn babies and new life brought into the world. Then I went into um, trauma, and people asked me, how do you get from mother baby to trauma? Well, they're both bloody, let me tell you. They're just the blood is coming from different areas, but it's all bloody. Um, Trauma, you know, you can't save everyone. So there was a lot of loss. Um, and that was, it was sad. It was really sad when we lost someone. Um, I don't know if I'll ever get used to um, 
losing someone who was healthy and then was in an accident. And um, then I went into heart advanced heart failure, heart transplant. So um, extreme cardiac nursing. Yeah, because um, yeah, strange like that. Again, very bloody. But what was the neatest thing that I learned with um, cardiac nursing and um, heart transplant was you can't be you can't get a heart from us from someone who's sick so all of those trauma patients were the best candidates for transplant so I thought it was really interesting how my career went from bringing new life and then the loss of life and then the rebirth through transplant that had to be one of the most amazing things I've ever witnessed in my life but again these organs came from you know young healthy people that passed away in accidents and but I wasn't quite so sad because now I knew that they were saving the lives of other people that could have never be saved without that sacrifice so um, my life has definitely my my nursing life has definitely come full circle and the last thing I have been doing has been hospice but my patients have been elderly and so it's not near as sad because um, well they've lived a very full life and so you want them to find peace and comfort all right so it says write two care plans or take one nursing test uh, you know I don't know how nursing school is today but I'll take the one I'll take the one test because it will be over in an hour and the nursing care plan could go on for 99 days so um, God I hated writing those nursing care plans what size sterile gloves well I wear about a six and a half uh, can you name the colors of the IV needle sizes no <laughs> I should by now but I can't and I've put in so many IVs you know but um, yeah no can't um, eat lunch out of a bedpan or drink soda out of a bedside urinal well thank goodness all of our bedpans and urinals start off completely clean and unused so um, if you want to rinse them again before you use them but they're clean and unused so they're they're not nasty you know they still look like urinals or um, beds or bedpans but they're not they're not dirty they've never been used so they'll they would be fine to eat out of um, what age did you enter nursing school I was the ripe age of 32 because you know I couldn't decide what I wanted to be when I grew up <laughs> and this was after I had three children three and at this point I have three young children so again the fact that I have hair of any color is a good sign um, what do you do for a bulky fundus ha ah, bulky fundus that could be a sign of hemorrhaging so you go ahead and massage the bulky fundus until it is no longer boggy and if you can't massage the crap out of it fast enough then you get some medication and hopefully if you got a baby to have latch on you get the baby to latch on also and that helps with the contractions of getting the uterus to be non boggy and stop the bleeding how long can you do CPR uh, if there's two of us I can do CPR first round and then switch and do CPR so I can do it for as long as I need to do it but goodness gracious I hope there's more than just two of us there because it is quite intense to go at the right rate and the right depth to get someone um, back where they should be mouth to mouth no um, 
mouth to mouth is not near as important as it, as it was once believed. Right now, CPR is what actually gets the medications. If you're in a hospital setting, what actually gets the medication circulating to the body to function. And so also in a hospital setting, uh, you would just bag them. Um, select all that apply. I'm assuming that is means for test questions. Those suck, by the way. It's where you, they, they, they have, okay, is it A, B, C, and then it says D and probably E. There's usually five choices. And then it says select all that apply. So you might pick A, C, D, you know, but it always makes you wonder, ooh, did I put one too many? Did I, did I leave one off? <sighs> you know, that wasn't on the testing the first time I went to school. Because I started out as an LVN and then I went back and got my ADN and this past December I graduated with my BSN and when I went for my LVN we did not have that select all stuff and that made life so much easier and uh, I did survive the um, I did survive it for my NCLEX for my RN but oh what a horrible thing to do to anybody Day shift or night shift? Yes. <laughs> All right. So as a, um, there's some roles in nursing that you can pretty much only do during the day. And that's fine. Like if you're doing case management, it's pretty much a day, day shift kind of um, job. If you're a bedside nurse, you can do day or night. Um, during the day, it's busier, but you also have more hands on deck. You have more resources, but I don't like feeding people. Oh my gosh, because you know what? I have absolutely no control over the kitchen and people can get really, really upset over a lack of ketchup. I have seen a grown man have a meltdown over no ketchup. And, um, yeah, I don't carry ketchup in my pocket. I have alcohol pads and, uh, saline flushes, but I don't carry ketchup. So it, it was horrible. It was, I've, he scarred me for life. So, um, I, I, the feeding people having my job be rated by how the kitchen performs, it bothers me, but we're in such a service industry. Um, at this point that, you know, can you imagine you get your, you get your score back and they're like, well, everything was fine, except they didn't have any ketchup. Who cares if you can read their labs and do all of these other things? You didn't have any ketchup. One thing you will learn as a nurse that I should probably give advice to new nurses you know, if people are hurting, they want to be out of pain. If people are cold, they want to be warm. Um, any of that other stuff you learned in school, they don't really care. They don't care if you can read their lab values. They don't care if you can do CPR. They just don't want to hurt and they don't want to be cold. Oh, and they don't want to be hungry. So NPO is like the, the worst thing you can ever tell them. So if you can keep them from feeling pain and keep them warm and keep them from being hungry, they love you. Otherwise, you are the worst person on earth. It doesn't matter why. You just are. Don't take it personally. You know, eventually they'll be able to eat. You know, unless they have some weird screwy diagnosis. You know, they'll be able to eat. They'll be warm. And they'll be pain free. Or at least, you know, pain controlled. So, uh, yeah. That's my nursing tag. <laughs> and Perlu. Peru, Lulu, God, screwing up your name, but I think that's the best name ever. I love it, and thank you for doing this tag. And um, I'll go ahead and link your um, stuff down below in the description box. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again so much for joining me. And today, I am very, very grateful for going into nursing. It has taught me so many, so many skills and um, opened my eyes to things that I never ever thought about because why would you? If you were never exposed to it, why would you think about it? You know? So, anyway, 
I hope to see you all again soon.